All right, Steve. You were talking about how you started putting your bike together with duct tape and stuff. But uh, anyway, this is the false gas tank cover I ordered. I got it. I started to put it on. This is the original. Like it's it's all brown. I had to uh, put in little uh, Allen head bolts to uh, so I could my my gas tank cover wouldn't come off. It tried to come off on me one time. <coughs> See, I even got little holes here to zip tie there for these lower louvers, but. I kind of like the bike without them. For one, my leg ain't up against this stupid thing, for one. Um, and for another, I like the look of it better. But, uh, see, I got all zip ties down here holding my pieces on. Um, I don't know if it was added later, but the guy that had the, uh, I think it was an 87, brought it to my house and we found out his cylinder wasn't firing right. Uh, <clears throat> I think he had like a strap. And it was like something that was there from the factory, so maybe that's something they did update on the MK2s. But this right here is the results of being dropped on that stupid shack gravel. Let's see if they see that crack. But I did do that. Um, then I installed this light back here. I put on some of this seal all because I, I opened up this one day and I had wet helmets. I don't remember what I was doing there. But this right here, I don't know if you can tell. I was out. Uh, Pulling a cow puck, or pulling a me, don't understand what highways are made for. Um, this black piece right here came off the rear fender, and look, I put twigs in there to hold them. <laughs> and I still, and this was almost a year ago when I did that, and they're still there. But hey, it's holding in um, 80, 90 miles an hour down the interstate. It holds, so hey. Don't fix what ain't broke, right? And of course, you probably seen the other turn down wasn't there. It fell off, uh, hitting a pothole up here from the road destruction, or before the road destruction. I'm not sure which. Now, from this angle, here's more zip ties. There's more cracks in that old plastic. Um, right there. Um, that's probably is that that right there just cracked because the clutch at one time was leaking right there and kind of ruined the paint there and you know this thing that's rust and this is a newer dash I put in it but it's still got my odometer yeah my odometer and speedometer Near windshield slipstream. It really bothered me to have screws. I'm OCD at times. It bothered me to have a couple of screws that were stripped in the head and where they grinded it. So I ordered four new ones. It cost me about 20 bucks. No, was it 30? Something like that. And of course, I got that headlight in there. <laughs> All the bug splatter from yesterday. Um, the best plastic on this bike is this right here for now as long as I'm careful but when I bought this bike it had an oil leak I still got the oil leak it, I, I will walk up in the garage and show you the puddle she leaves unless I put the rug underneath her but uh he would think when walking in the garage the next morning that uh, it is leaking like a half a quart of oil. Hey, 
Now that's a pretty good sized puddle, but it I literally maybe put in half a quart every two two months, or unless I go on a trip and it's every 400 miles, 500 miles. And this is kind of my man cave, but right now the fridge ain't plugged in. But I got this is my spare set of quill packs I bought. Um, these are the carbs that were originally on Tinker. I took them off and rebuilt the carbs that I had in this box. So, just, it, number two needs to be fixed. Something's wrong with it. And of course, here's Pegs, but I took off her when I replaced her floorboards. And shit, I dropped something. But, uh, anyway, there's where I did have other parts. Um, and I got throttle cable and then I get all my stuff to shine her up, make her purries. Got me some Novus plastic cleaner. Um, I'm finding I like the uh, um, Anyway, I got uh, carburetors, bodies, and need a major cleaning, which they literally need major cleaning. I got those off of eBay, I think for like 50 bucks. Um, I think it's going to be need one of those Sonic cleans. But this right here is what I use to clean my window. Or windscreen, whatever you all want to call it. And about two weeks ago, I lost my antenna on Tinker. Um... I was heading up to see my son, and between 50 and uh, 60 mile marker, I noticed, uh, well, it was there, and then it wasn't. Uh, but, yeah, but they're a very enjoyable motorcycle, but I'm sure you can see right there why I, uh, I, I, I just think that thing's way too pretty to be on her, because I'm in, I, I kind of fell in love with her patina. Well, that's it.